Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we're going to be doing a review of the unofficial Summer Games figure by NECA. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so as you guys could see, this is the unofficial Summer Games figure. Uh, this is the exclusive convention or convention exclusive 2020 NECA. Um, I didn't find this guy. My wife actually found this guy. Uh, in the wild at Walmart uh, she was actually at Walmart buying uh, something for some bagels that she was making for me so uh, she went to Walmart and she found this guy and she bought it there was two figures out there there was two two fig two of, the, of these guys out there uh, one I'm not stingy and I'm not um, a scalper or anything and I, I understand how hard it is to find figures as a collector so I decided to just leave it there for another collector I did want to get it because I did not want to open this guy I know this guy doesn't come out until the 27th I think that's what NECA 23rd or 27th of July it was supposed to come out on. but uh, fortunately we got lucky with this guy and we actually found him in the wild which is pretty crazy and I did not want to open it because this is a convention exclusive but being that nobody else has reviewed this guy yet uh, I decided to do it and go ahead and open it for that reason but I might get another one later on anyways I, I kind of figured I'm gonna try to look for another one later on and just keep that one closed and open this guy so anyways let's do what I didn't want to do and open this box up and oh actually let's show you the specs of the box first obviously you guys could see the front you guys seen the front for a few minutes now uh, the side is just the gremlins the back gremlins and a few picture of uh, what the gremlin looks like with all his little accessories and stuff like that you guys could read that Pause the video and you guys can see that if you want. The other side is the same thing. The top, same thing. Bottom, all the official licensing and all that stuff. Man, I'm messing this box up. Anyways, I'm gonna about to open this up. And inside, you guys can see his little, his little underwear. There's little chonies or his little speedos. <laughs> and uh, another picture there of the gremlin with this figure. Uh, I was looking at it and I was comparing it and I will show you the comparisons pretty soon with the other with the original uh, stripe and there is subtle differences and and I'll point those out once I do the review for that but anyways without any further ado let's open him up out of the package and then show you guys all the accessories so inside in the background is the actual pool an Olympic pool uh, so just wanted to show you guys that and here he is out of the box um, already I could tell like when I first saw it I could tell that the the gums were a lot shinier or a, a, glo a gloss look to it a glossier look to it uh, the little spikes here are painted a lot better uh, here there's some little highlights that weren't on the original figure and also on the feet there's browning there and there so uh, let's take him out of the package and then Actually, let's show you the accessories first. So it comes with little flippers. A little goggles, which is pretty cool. And the camera focuses it, there we go. Little goggles. A snorkel. And the Olympic torch. This is pretty cool. It's like a little hard transparent or translucent plastic. It has little highlights, little yellow highlights throughout this thing. So that's pretty cool. And now the figure itself. Alright, so here he is out of the box and Wow, there is actually quite a few differences now that, I, uh, now that I took him out of the box. His color, his tone, I don't know. To me, it seems like it's a lot greener than the other ones. And not only that, but his joints move a lot smoother than the other ones. You know how when you get a NECA figure, you usually 
Like the joints are super hard. This one's like really, really good joints. You can move them right out of the box. You can move them around and everything. And you don't have to warm him up or nothing like that. It's just straight out of the box. He's it's good to go. And yeah, if you, that's not good. <laughs> okay, he's back. <laughs> I think the head was just loose, I guess. But he's all good now. I guess his ears go back the same way. I really love this feature of these gremlins that they make the ears move around. There's a lot more shading in the ears than it was in the first one. I think, I don't know, I'll do a comparison right now, but as far as all that goes, it's pretty dang good, man. It's pretty good, pretty good, pretty nice, pretty neat. That's the inside of his mouth. Articulation's all there. That's him in his little chonies, his little underwear. Little speedos. That's what the back looks like. And you could always take them off. But yeah, there's a lot more detail in the, the tail section as well. They painted this guy a lot better, I think. The more quality of paint application on this one than the other one. They even do the browning right here. I don't think the original one has that inside I don't know I have to check and compare but let's put all his accessories on him and then and then we'll compare him with the other one so flippers go in like that and like this Yes, this I guess just goes on like that. I close his mouth. Uh, doesn't really go on there. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Let's see. Okay, he just I guess he just wears it on top like this, and then this goes down like that. Right. Is that what he has in the picture? Yeah, something like that. But that kind of covers his eyes though. I don't know, in the picture it looks like... Like you see this, is a lot longer. But when you put it here... It's like right next to his eyes. See the difference? This goes all the way to his mouth. And this one just goes to. I don't know, could you just put it in his mouth? <laughs> just like that. But yeah, I think the little the little peg should have, or the little hole peg should have been up here, and then it would have been down here, but it's all the way up here for some reason. I guess we could just do that. It doesn't really hold on to anything, though. It's just flops off so I don't know that's the poor design or I guess you could do that I guess that'll work and then I could just make a hold with torch this torch is pretty heavy so but there you go He kind of leans forward because now his joints aren't all that strong, <laughs> so he kind of leans forward a little bit to make him look like the like the picture here. There we go. Pretty cool though. I like it. It's pretty cool gremlin. So, uh, so now let's compare them to the original stripe, and let's see the color applications because I, I I do see a few little different. I wish it would have been this green. Like if you look at this green, this green is a lot better. Like I wish they would have painted this green. That would have been really, really cool. But uh, I think the green is different, but let's compare it with the other one. Let me go grab the other one and then we'll compare them. Okay, so here they are side by side. And um, there is a few differences. You know what, let me take out all this, all this stuff down here. 
Then we could compare them better. Let me do that. So let's let's uh, slip those undies off. <laughs> it's pretty weird doing this. Do -do 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 -do. Put his little undies right here. Put his undies right here. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so let's compare them. As far as the joints go, they're exactly the same joints, but these are a lot looser joints than this one is. Uh, I kind of like that. I kind of prefer that, except for this joint because he has a hard time balancing uh, with that heavy. Uh, torch he starts leaning forward and then he falls forward which I don't like because I don't want to break him but other than that the application the paint application seems a lot better on this one so you guys could see let me show you if you guys look inside there there is some shading in there on this one there is, I mean the orange yeah but Inside there, I don't know if the camera could pick it up, but there's some browning or some like little brown spots within uh, the the crevices in there, and this one does not have that. And the orange is a lot deeper on this one than there is on that one. Um, as far as the little spikes here, uh, they're painting a lot better. This one's not even painted. See how these? They're just they on this one actually they miss the actual spikes the spike is right there i don't know if you guys can see it but the spike is right here and then the paint's over here and then same thing with this one the spikes here and the paint's here same thing with this one this one they got a little bit more but yeah the the paint applications are a lot messier on this one and the green does look a little different to me i don't know See how in there, there's a lot greener. I wish they would have went with that green. If they would have stuck with that green, would have been super cool. But I don't know. They didn't stick with it. There's like some green there, there. But here, there's no green splashes or anything. But the paint job, I think here is a lot better than here. You guys can see the difference. And then, also with the arms, or with the shoulders, I should say, here you can see there's a lot better green there than there is there. Also with the ears, the shading, it's like they shaded better. It was like, this is like a, this is like a, um, uh, what do you call it? An airbrush paint job and then this one's just like a regular paint over it and the, the mouth also in here actually uh, it, it's just like a matte color and look at the jaw how it moves sideways and then this jaw goes straight down and there's like a gloss finish to it to the mouth so the mouth looks a lot more real, a lot more realistic. The tongue looks a lot more realistic than this one does. And the jaws doesn't, doesn't move all weird sideways like that for some reason. And the eyeballs as well. You guys see the eyeballs on this dude they look kind of crooked and on this dude they look straight. A uh, slight difference, but you could tell the difference at least in person you can and then also here in the little scales here They put a little bit of highlights there. This one doesn't really have highlights. It's just like a brown And then once again, there's, a, there's, there's shading here and then there's just paint there. There's like a line of paint You guys can see within the inside the thigh there It's just a line of paint just boom boom and then here it's more of a shading to it all right and then on the feet themselves okay, a close-up of the feet see how this one's not 
painted brown. It's just green. And then this one's got some shading on it. Some brown shading. So, yeah. So, as far as the paint job goes, this one is a lot better. Uh, I wish, but there is a little green, like lighter green on this one than there is on this one. This one looks darker in person. You could see it, but like in camera, you can't really pick it up. I don't know, this guy's jaw is just mislocated or something. That's why it's all... Well, that happened. Anyways, yeah, the paint job on this one is a lot better. Uh, you guys could see the difference on in person than on the camera. There, there is a lot different. The They painted this guy a lot better. They took their time on this guy. Uh, but I wish they would have had gone with that green throughout the whole figure. That would have been so nice. It would have been that green. It would have been... I thought. I think it would have looked a lot better. But... Um, anyways. Yeah. So... That's the difference. Slight difference. But there is a few differences. Uh, so... Anyways, uh, that's your uh, NECA convention exclusive 2020 figure. It's like different, it's just a little bit repaints and different accessories, of course. Uh, but other than that, it's kind of the same figure. So, uh, but the joints are a lot better. So I gotta give that to NECA at least is that the joints are a lot better, a lot smoother than you originally get a NECA figure. A NECA figure, you have to like warm it up or heat it up somehow, and then and then you can move them. But uh, I gotta say, the joints came out pretty good. I can't wait. I love these Gremlin figures. This is one of my the lines that I really love love from NECA. This and the um, the cartoon turtles. Those are my favorite two lines from NECA. Uh, I've always loved Gremlins. One of my favorite movies. Well, two of my favorite movies because it's one and then the second one. Uh, I really love both movies a lot. And I can't wait to uh, until they start making the second batch. Because I, I think they were going to continue making the second batch of Gremlins from the from the second movie. Uh, so I can't wait for that line to come out. Or I, I have no idea when it's come out. But I think uh, Greta, the girl Gremlin, is first. And I've been wanting to get my hands on that one for a long, long time. And I I can't wait for that one to come out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up because it does help me out a lot. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I will be doing another review on the Flasher Gremlin. So stay tuned for that. Uh, for more Gremlin stuff or for more Turtle stuff. Little, little hints that I love to leave on every video. If you guys haven't been picking up on it, uh, other stuff that I'm working on. Um, there is a turtle thing that I'm working on, which should be pretty freaking cool. I've been working on this dude for, I don't know how long. I think it's been like a whole month already that I've been working for on, 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 this, uh, on this turtle figure. Uh, it's coming out to me personally i really really love the way it's coming out man and and i'm glad that i took my time on this guy because he looks pretty cool if i do say so myself but i'm the one that's making it so <laughs> i don't know anyways uh that's enough hints I'll, I'll show it i'll show it to you guys when i make him and i'll do a review on him and stuff like that but anyways that's it for this review thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one. Peace.